you know, <clears throat> I am done admitting to myself or trying to convince myself that I am not lonely. Because I am, clearly. I mean, I'm at my final semester in college. I've been in two relationships, even though they really didn't mean anything. I mean, the longest was two months. And it just, it was pointless. And a lot of the people I know, when they get in a relationship, they're always there with each other. They always experience things together. And most of my experience with relationships has been completely solitary. Like, there was no connection. There was no enjoying things with one another. I guess I just want it to be my turn, you know? I've been so focused on um, school and work and trying to make a life for myself. I mean, I've tried, you know, the whole dating thing. I've tried relationships, but it just seems like such a foreign territory to me. Yeah, I have my insecurities. Everyone does. And I always have people tell me that, well, Donnie, you have to love yourself before you love someone else. I do love myself. I love myself a lot. I'm, I'm a great person. I'm intelligent. I think I'm relatively attractive. I'm talented. I mean, I'm not going to gloat about it. I mean, I'm not arrogant. But I do acknowledge that I am a genuinely good person with some good qualities. But why won't people, why won't guys see them? Like, what is wrong? Like, no, there's nothing wrong with me. Just when will it be my turn? You know? I've been wanting to make a video about this for a long time, but I just have never really known what to say. You know, like, I can be funny, I can joke around, but I'm never really, like, honestly serious about my feelings and my thoughts, and I think I need to start doing so. And I'm sure I'm not the only person suffering from this problem. Sorry, I'm texting with this guy. I don't know. I feel like the experiences in the past four months have really helped me learn to focus what I want in a relationship or what I want in a guy. Like... I seem to find either a guy who avoids everything all the time or someone who is so dramatic that they try to play mind, like they get a thrill out of playing mind games with people and I think it's ridiculous. I mean, is it difficult, why is it so difficult to find somebody genuine, you know? I mean, it's not like I'm asking for much. I just, I want someone to be honest, relatively attractive, someone who has goals, and someone who takes care of themselves. That's all I want. That's all I want. I'm done fooling myself. I'm done telling myself that I'm perfectly fine by myself all the time. Like, I do value my independence. I'm a very independent person, but
but there's a time where I just want to share share my life with someone share what I enjoy with someone and I've never really gotten that chance and it does frustrate me it really does why shouldn't it frustrate me yeah, I know I'm only 22, I, and I'm tired of people telling me that, but by my age, most people have had some sort of experience. Like, I've never been in love before. I've never legitimately been in love with somebody, and I'm almost 23, and that really bothers me. I feel like that's something that you experience during these years, like something valuable, something that helps you realize what you want in life and realize what you want to share and how you want to share it with someone. I look at all my friends and I see almost all of my friends have relationships to some degree. Some are married, some have children, some have been in relationships for almost 10 years, some have just recently started and they move out on their own. They have a chance to start living their life and I feel like when they criticize me for not moving out on my own or not you know parting with my family that they don't see that I don't have anybody to go with I don't have anybody there for me when I do move out, I don't have that sense of companionship, you know, to back up the desire to live somewhere. I just want it to be my turn. I'm tired of watching everybody happily finding companionship and living the dream you know because to me that's the dream like and I'm not trying to make this sound like a sob story because it's, that's not what I'm intending I want it I just want to stop fooling myself. I know it'll happen someday. But how many days will it be until that does happen? I told myself it happened someday back when I was 18. I knew it happened someday back when I was like 12. Ten years later, it still hasn't happened. I want it to happen while I'm young. I mean, it's not that I'm afraid of aging, because with age comes wisdom and I value wisdom, but part of me wants to be able to live life on the edge for just a moment. with someone. A special someone. I don't care how much poetry I've written about it. I don't care about how many stories I've written about it or songs that I've played or s listened or sang to myself about it. 
it isn't the real experience. And I want the real experience. Sometimes I just need to remind myself to have faith, you know? But it isn't always easy, and trust me, I have gotten myself in some pretty low slumps. Pretty low. Loneliness is probably one of the most difficult emotions to deal with. And I guess it kind of goes along with fear. Maybe I'm fearful of being alone for the rest of my life. Fearful of being forgotten or not having the chance to share things with somebody. I mean, it's not a question of karma or you know, me doing something bad and my punishment being loneliness. I used to think about that all the time, but I've done so much good in my life. I've helped people. I've started relationships for people. I've opened the door for people. I can perceive so much. I give readings. I can see things that people can't see, but I can't see why. Why has it not, why has it not been my turn? I, I, I don't understand. I can only hope that either someday I will understand or that it will happen. Nobody ever said being gay was easy, but when I look at all the gay people I know, relationships and companionship come so easily. I know there are a lot of drama that goes with relationships, but I just, I want someone genuine. Someone who takes things seriously, but not to the detriment of it destroying everything. No, my friends and I, especially Sky, talk about tattoos a lot, and she has the word believe tattooed on her because the word means something to her. If I were to ever have a word tattooed on me, it'd be either faith or hope. Because honestly, some days, those are the only things that keep me going. I just hope it's enough. Faith. It is enough. And it's worth the wait.